So we're gonna have to figure this out. We're gonna have to keep exploring till we find the right way to go. So you can see some blocks here. These are the blocks that we're gonna have to do a little bit of pushing with to figure out the right current. You know what I mean, guys? We gotta figure out the right current. Which way is the current going to go for us? So there we have it. There's one block here. I'm gonna push that bad boy down. Now this one's stuck to the wall, so I can't do anything with it. Dude, I did not mean to drop down that. Oh! Whoops! We fell down right into the water! Yo, that's crazy! That was accidental! I was not trying to drown our guy there! That's pretty funny, though. Now we know what happens when you drop down. So one more block for us to push in. And it is going to be this one here on the left. There we go. Okay. So now, Pikachu, steady hands, win the game. We are almost there, my friend. My friend, Pikachu, we are almost... Why do I keep falling in this water? I just don't know how to swim out here, apparently. All right, all right. One more time. One more time is going to do it, guys. Let's do this again. Slow and steady might not win the race. But it's going to get us through this today. I'm going to push this one out the way. And then this is the one I want. This is the one I want. Slow and steady. We're going to push it on through. This is a lot of fun. Getting to go through this. It feels like a brand new game. A brand new challenge. Even though I know I've been through this before. Okay, I'm going here. No! No! Why? The hardest part of this is just staying above without falling into that hole. The trainer just like slips into it. Dude, do you not see the hole? Do not slip into the hole, man. My goodness, how hard is that? How much does it take? How hard is that for our guy to do? Third time's the charm, as they say. In all Nintendo games, third time is always the charm, guys. It is always the charm. One more push! There we go. Finally! Now the block has gone down. And the block should have completely blocked off whatever we wanted to. Whatever we needed it to do. So let's see if we can do something here, guys. Let's see if we can do a little something. Yes, I want to use the secret technique. So this just pushes us down, down, down. Back to the entrance. As you guys can see now, though, the water is calm where we used to come down and get thrown around. Thankfully, the two blocks are here now, so we're good to continue moving on, guys. It only took us a little bit, but oh my goodness. I think this is it. No freaking way. Oh man, we need to get ready. I picked up a couple Ultra Balls for us. I hope you guys are ready. Because we're finally going to take on the first of the Legendary Bird Trio. Here in Kanto. Articuno. And look how awesome Articuno looks. Oh, it just got chilly in here. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus... Articuno. So let's go ahead and take on the legendary Articuno. Articuno's stats rose. We're going to open up with Loki. And let's see what Loki can do here, guys. 
We have a match time of five minutes. So let's go ahead and drop that Thunderbolt and hit the level 50 Articuno with everything that we've got. Loki's ready, guys. I'm feeling pretty good going up against this legendary Pokemon. I have to tell you guys that Articuno is definitely one of my favorite legendary Pokemon. It is just so good, so flawless, so elegant. What a wonderful Pokemon it is. And I can't believe that we are here battling it. I've been waiting for this my whole life. I really have. So let's go ahead and drop that Thunderbolt. And that's going to do it. Ooh, Loki's avoiding moves. I'm digging it. And that Thunderbolt's going to hit a whole lot. That level 50 Articuno is down. And this battle is very similar to the Snorlax battle. So here we go. Now's our chance to catch Articuno. I have 122 Ultra Balls for us. Got a couple things ready. See what we can do here. Oh, okay, okay. So the items don't work all the time on it either. Let's go ahead and use another Nana Berry. Nothing with the Nana Berry, huh? Let's try a Raspberry then. There we go. Now it's time, guys. Let's start chucking some Ultra Balls. What are you? What is it doing? Is it attacking me? There's a nice one. I don't think a nice one's gonna do it. I think it's gonna have to be an excellent here. So I'm gonna have to get better at catching Pokemon, and this is gonna be our first test, guys. This is our first test here to catch a very, very strong Pokemon. The Snorlax was a bit of a toughie, but he wasn't that bad. Now the Articuno, that's for us to find out how difficult the legendary Pokemon are to catch in this game. Ooh, that one was looking close. I'm just gonna get a perfect on this thing. Oh, I overshot it, I overshot it. I'm not shooting it right. Hmm, very close, very close, guys. Okay, I need to get this guy to stand still again. Let's see what we can use. Yeah, let's use this one. This is the best one. It calms Articuno a whole lot. So look at that. Ooh, that was a good catch! So close. So close. My goodness. Catching this Articuno is going to be tough. Come on! That was an okay. Not a perfect, not an excellent. Woo! If this is like any other legendary catching, it's going to take a while, guys. It's going to take a lot for us to catch this Pokemon. And it makes sense. This is Articuno here. All right, come on. We got to hope for a little something here, guys. Nothing yet. Seems like we had it. Don't, don't tell us it seemed like we had it. It can always seem like we had it. I mean, it seemed like we had it when we jumped into this battle. Those aren't close enough. I need the circle to be much smaller on it for me to catch it. So let's see what we can do. Let's use this one, the silver nano. Oh, come on. Seriously? That, I, don't, I don't know where that Pokeball went. Like, you guys can see me swinging the way we should. And sometimes it will just shoot the other way. Oh, man. Come on, Articuno. Come on, Articuno. Excellent. Come on, Articuno. Oh, I thought we had it. Oh, I thought we had it there. I'm so close to catching this Pokemon. I feel it. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! There we go. Woo! Oh my goodness! My goodness! We got it! We got the Articuno, guys! It's unbelievable. So there we go, Articuno, the ice flying type. It's a freeze Pokemon, a legendary bird Pokemon. It freezes water that is contained in winter air and makes it snow! We got Articuno now! Yes! We did it, ladies and gentlemen! 
So that is why we are here in the Seafoam Islands, and it is to catch Articuno. So with that, guys, we can get the heck on out of here. As we did find the Pokemon that we were looking for. And you can heal right up over here with the Potion Lady. That's so cool. They just have the Pokemon ladies on the routes. And that makes so much more sense. You can just heal up your Pokemon when you can. We did it. Oh, my goodness. It's been crazy. I can't believe we have Articuno now. I got to bring this guy out. I really do. I've been waiting to see this Articuno out in action for a while. So let's put Tack back in the PC. And I will bring our Articuno out. Pretty sure we'll be able to ride around an Articuno. We should be able to, right? Wouldn't that just be crazy? So let's take it out of the Pokeball. And here we go, guys. <gasps> our Articuno! I can't believe this. This is crazy! Our Articuno is following us around. No way! We have a legendary Pokemon following us around. This game is so cool. This game is so freaking cool, guys. I gotta tell you that. That is so awesome. So now, we're healed up. We caught Articuno. And we're gonna have to jump back in to the Seafoam Islands to be able to progress on through. So I hope you guys are ready to finish up the rest of the puzzle. So we are back inside of the Seafoam Islands. This time we have our Articuno with us. And it is time to give this another shot. Let's see if we can figure out the puzzle so we can continue on through the Seafoam Islands. Now it looked like we had to push about one more block down. One more block should just about do it. Should just about let us through here. And then we'll be able to progress the rest of the way through this route. So it's that block right there. It's that one. Without a doubt, it's that block over there that we have to get to. So once we get to push that one down, we're going to be great through here. It's so cool having a legendary follow us around. It's going to take a little getting used to for me, but I'm, I'm digging it. I'm really digging it. I'm glad that we were able to get Articuno here today. It's awesome. So that is where we usually surf. Hmm. This is where we push the blocks down. So, to get up, we might just have to go down. That's that's the way to do it. Ah, uh, we need to get over there. If I can find how to get to that right side of the block, we'll be okay. We really will. I am not trying to battle you, my dude. We already caught enough Pokemon here. We got as many Pokemon as we wanted, truthfully. This is just the Jinx. So that path is blocked, which is good. But it's not where we need to be. That's the path to Articuno. So we need to figure out our own path. Let's go here. Feeling a little bit better going up to the right side of the stairs. Climbing up the ladders on the right side. And there it is. There it is. That's the block I've been wanting to push down forever. So there we have it, guys. We push the block down. Now, let's find out if it's it. <laughs> so there we have it. The water has stopped. It's nice and light inside of here, guys. We're going to be able to travel around a little bit easier, which is always a good thing. So with that, guys, we got ourselves three Ultra Balls. We've been needing these Ultra Balls. Especially after all the craziness we've been through here in the Seafoam Islands. Caught a legendary. We had to battle it to catch it. It's wild. What else we got? An ice stone. A lot of good items in here. Make sure you come through and explore the Seafoam Islands when you can. And what else we got? We got a super lure. Alright, alright, alright. This looks to me like we are headed in the right direction. And yes... We are. There we have it, guys. We've made it through to Route 20. We made it through the Seafoam Islands. Yo, we did it. Yeah, I'm proud of that. I'm very proud of that. 
<laughs> this trainer just asked, are we on vacation too? Not after what we just pulled in there, trust me. Not at all. Here comes a Marowak. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out. We'll bring Wave out here. I could say Wave. How about we bring out our Articuno? Let's try our Articuno, guys. I'm super pumped to try out our Legendary. This is gonna be a wild one. And there we have it. Our Articuno is here, ladies and gents. It's so cool to get to use a Legendary. It's gonna be a lot of fun in this adventure. And we're only gonna be getting more and more Pokemon. So the Marowak is down. The Ice Beam is super effective. The cool thing about Articuno as well is it's only level 50. So Loki is 52. Tack is close to 50. All our Pokemon are close to 50. So Articuno fits right in. It's just like we got ourselves an Ice type. And I've been wanting an Ice type on our team. So this just worked out perfectly. Let's go ahead and drop that Ice Beam. And the Gloom is also going to go down. Quite the battle here for us. It's almost like they want us to use Articuno here. And last but not least, let's see who it is. It's going to be a wiggly tough. So let's wrap this battle up so we can keep on surfing through this route. I'm having a lot of fun on this route. Surfing around, exploring. This might just be my favorite route in Kanto, to tell you guys the truth. Let me know what your favorite route is. There are a lot of cool ones here in Kanto. So let's drop the Ice Beam one more time. And that's going to do it for the wiggly tough. The Wiggly Tough is out of here, guys. We're doing it. We're doing it. This is happening right now. Articuno got some XP. You got some XP. I got some XP. We got some great balls. And we're moving on through. So let's see what this Pokeball was. A heart scale. A heart scale all along, huh? Good to know. We're jumping back into the water. So let's go for that sea skim. And let's continue our surfing through Route 20 now. It's nice and peaceful here. Very, very peaceful. Let's mix up our party. We got Loki up in front. So we're okay. We're okay. Let's jump into a battle and take on a couple more of these surfers. How you doing today, surfers? We just went through a cave. We caught a legendary. It's crazy. If you told me as a kid, I'd be seeing Articuno in 3D like that. I would have told you you're crazy. And now I'm seeing it. And I'm just really, really happy. I have to tell you guys, this game makes me very nostalgic. I'm feeling a lot of emotions here as we go through this. A lot of weird, different emotions that I haven't felt since I was younger. This was my first Pokemon game. You have to remember that. I started with Pokemon Yellow. And I never looked back. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for Pokemon. So just to see it culminating in something like this, it really, really, you know, leaves me in awe. It... it it leaves me without words because I'm just so thankful that it's come to this point that I'm a part of it. That I get to play through a game with you guys. That I get to talk about it. I'm just really, really thankful, you know, for everything I have and for everything that's come from Pokemon. So we got ourselves three Ultra Balls. And there are a couple more trainers for us to take on here. So we'll keep on going and we'll keep on trucking. I've been out here catching Pokemon for so long. The guys are going to be back from the Travis Scott concert anytime soon. You know what I mean? We were in there battling Articuno for a while, guys. So here comes Firo. And let's see what the Firo can do. At the beginning of this crazy day. I told you guys I'm up here in Chicago. And I enjoy being up here, man. It really is a good time getting to see my friends. And, you know, I, I can't wait to see what else there is going to be in store for the trip. I'm here for a couple days. I head back home on the 11th. So I'll be chilling here till then. So I'll be knocking out videos for you guys. You'll probably be seeing a couple different setups. I might be hanging around here in the Munches setup for a little bit longer. Since he's normally, you know, doing some let's go as well. It just works. It's very, very comfortable. I can just kind of jump right in. So with that, the Dodrio is down. These were some easy battles here. And we're getting all the XP we want. Rush grew level 39, and a Pidgeot's going to be coming out. You guys remember, that's why we've been doing all these battles too. To train up Rush, to train up Ghost, to get our Pokemon ready. So let's drop that Thunderbolt. And that's going to do it. Pidgeot is down, ladies and gents. Great battling from Loki. It seemed like Loki inside of the Seafoam Islands, when you're actually in the cave, 
if you shake it, Loki's like scared, a little bit freaked out. Who wouldn't be? Imagine you're a small little Pokemon and your trainer's throwing you into a battle against an Articuno. Who wouldn't be freaked out? I mean, for real. And then once you come out of the Seafoam Islands, Loki's so happy, all pumped up. We got a Starmie out here. So I'm gonna make these battles fast for us. Since I am trying to push through this route and get to the next area. So let's drop that Zippy Zap. Level 44. So the Pokemon are a little bit lower now. Starmie is down, which is great for us. We got some XP. Let's see who's coming out next. Kingler. I'll keep it up. We'll keep our Loki out here. So let's drop another Zippy Zap. It's a good thing to have the Zippy Zap. I have to tell you guys, it's a good move. It's like a move that you can just use whenever you're going to take out Pokemon quickly. And you're just trying to like rush through the route. Use the Zippy Zap. That's what it's there for. And it's going to be a Tentacruel, last but not least. We were also able to find a lot of Pokemon today to help fill up the Pokedex. So happy about that. That's why the Seafoam Islands is my favorite route. You're going to be finding a ton of Pokemon to complete your Pokedex entries. You got yourself Articuno, and you're getting XP from battles? You can't top that. You really can't. So there we have it, guys. We defeated the Swimmer. Thank you, Swimmer. You keep doing your thing, man. Hope the water isn't chilly out here. My guess is the water in Kanto would probably not be that chilly. It'd probably be nice. Thinking about it. It'd probably be real nice here in Kanto. So let's jump into battle with the swimmer. I'm getting everything on these routes, guys, which is good for us. You need the money for Ultra Balls on the real. Uh, you need to get yourself this battle cash so you can buy yourself some Ultra Balls. I feel like I got really lucky with Articuno there. I don't know normally how much Articuno takes to catch. So let me know how hard Articuno was to catch for you or another legendary of the legendary bird trio. I'm interested to find out. I might have just lucked out really hard today. Because it felt like I did. It sure did. We defeated Beauty Nora. Alright, alright. This is so far so good. Let's take on this trainer too. Battling everybody. We're very close to the Cinnabar Island. When we get there, the map is just about rounded out. And that's what I've been wanting to do. When I play, for example, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild... I work on completing the map first, and then I take on the missions. It's just something that I do. It's just what I've always done. And something that I want to do here in this game too. Especially now that Loki has all the secret techniques. You don't really need an HM slave to learn those. You can travel so much faster, so much easier. When you can access your Pokebox from anywhere, everything is just so much simple that I am going to make sure I take out the map. It is just easy to travel across this place, which is great. I've always been a big fan of upgrading the transportation systems in Pokemon. And they've done it here, so big props. I love the HMs, I'm having a blast with them. Ghost grew to level 40. Yeah, so there we go. Gengar is to 40. Rush will be at 40 very soon. Before you know it, we're gonna have ourselves a shiny Arcanine to ride around on. So this is just wonderful for us. We got a Max Repel. They really don't want us to be bumping into Pokemon here. No joke about that. So I'm going to go for a swim. We're going to keep on trucking, guys. Is that a coach trainer? Really? There's a coach trainer here? Oh, okay. Let's jump into it. Might not be a coach trainer. Sometimes these guys' outfits, you know... Looks similar. It's an ace trainer. There we go. So let's go ahead and jump in. He's got a golem. Whoa. Look at that. That's the first golem I've seen here in Kanto. Yeah, seen ever, right? No. Here in Kanto, in Let's Go. I've seen some golems before. Don't worry about that. Here comes the earthquake. It's going to do a lot. Good try, Loki. Good try. We appreciate you putting the moves in. So let's go ahead and mix this up now. Let's get Articuno out here. I'm going to be using our Articuno as much as I can. Such a cool Pokemon. Why wouldn't I try this out? So let's go for the Ice Beam. 
and that should do it. That Golem is not going to be standing up to any legendary Pokemon anytime soon. The Golem is down. Got some XP. Wave grew to level 48. Solid. Next is going to be a Pinsir. We'll keep out Articuno right now. We'll keep out Articuno. Pinsir is only level 46. We'll keep on dropping those Ice Beams. Ooh, the superpower. Is it a fighting? Okay. We're okay. We're okay. The superpower did not crush us out. Didn't come out fighting too hard. And the Pinsir is going to take one more hit. And that's going to do it, guys. That's going to do it. We got Cinnabar Island on the horizon. We're so close. I can almost see it. I can almost see it here in the shoreline. So there we go. The Pinsir is down. And that is awesome, guys. We're going to get a bunch of XP for this. We defeated the Ace Trainer. Thanks, Ace Trainer. We got some Ultra Balls from defeating this guy. There's a Magic Carp and one more Trainer, it looks like. So we are going to do this, guys. We're going to jump into the battle. We, we kind of had to there. So here we go. Cinnabar Island is just to the west. Pumped. We are almost to Cinnabar. Beauty Melissa's got two Pokemon ready to go. It's going to be a Sea King. So let's go ahead and do this. We got Wave up in front. Wave, what are you going to do to these Pokemon? I'm going to go for the Headbutt here. Here comes the Quick Attack. I'm feeling good though, guys. So let's drop that Headbutt. That's all? I'm switching out. Alright, let's get Maple out here. We're mixing this up. We're mixing this up. I'm knocking this battle out the way. So there we go. Our Venusaur is here. Our Venusaur is pumped. I'm dropping the Pedal Dance, guys. That's going to be it for the Sea King. And hopefully the next Pokemon as well. That was a crit. The unnecessary crits. Remember that. The unnecessary crits. They really do come out. And a Jinx. Hmm. Wish Rush was a little bit higher level. What can we do against a Jinx? Send out Ghost. Should be a lot of fun here. Ghost is level 40 right now. So let's see what Ghost can do against a Jinx. This should be an even battle. A little bit closer of a battle than the one we previously had here for Ghost. Jinx is level 43. I'm dropping the Shadow Ball then. And there we go! Jinx is going to be taking some heavy damage. It's also going to be very, very good for us to have Ghost ready for our next gym. You guys know that we still have a couple gyms to take on. We got one in Saffron. We got some things to do. We got a couple things to take care of around here. So let me go ahead and use that full heal. Here comes the Psychic, though. It's going to hurt a little bit. There it is. Ghost is down. Woo! It's okay, Ghost. It's okay. So, we're going to send out Rush, then. Everybody's seen action. We're going to send out Rush today. And there it is. Our shiny Growlithe has come out to play. So, we're going to wrap this up. Oh, <laughs> We're going to go for the flamethrower here, guys. Here comes the ice beam. Not going to do all that much. Wrap this up for us, Rush. Rush, use the flamethrower. And that's it. Jinx is down. And this is going to be some great XP for Rush. On the real. There we go. We got some XP. Everybody got XP. We defeated the beauty. And that means we are just about there. The surfing has paid off, ladies and gentlemen. As we have officially made it to Cinnabar Island. Yes! We are here in Cinnabar Island, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you guys are pumped. Next time we'll be continuing from here. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button as it really does help the series. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Goodbye.